Jotform Tables Tutorial for Beginners Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use Jotform Table. Jotform Table is an online data management tool that allows you to create, organize, and collaborate on tables for effective data management. In this tutorial, we will walk you through the basics of Jotform Tables, so let's get started. To begin using Jotform Table, the first step is to create an account. You will find the link down below in the description, so go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct homepage. There you will find different options to sign up for a new account. You can choose to sign up using your Google or Facebook account, or you can sign up with your email address. Simply select the option that suits you best to create a new account. After completing the sign-up process, you will be taken to your Jotform account. To proceed further, navigate to the top menu and locate the Products option. Jotform offers a range of products, such as Form Builder, Report Builder, and PDF Editor, among others. However, in this tutorial, we will focus on Jotform Tables, so click on the Jotform Tables from the Products menu. By clicking on Jotform Tables, you will be redirected to the Jotform Tables dashboard. This is where you can access and manage your tables, organize data, and perform various actions related to table management. The Jotform Tables dashboard provides a simple and user-friendly interface for managing your tables. Upon accessing the dashboard, you will notice a left navigation menu that we would like to provide an overview of before moving on. The Create Table button is prominently displayed in the menu, allowing you to easily create new tables in different formats such as spreadsheets, calendars, and reports. This feature enables you to customize the structure and layout of your tables based on your specific requirements. The My Tables section within the menu provides an overview of all the tables you have created. This allows you to quickly access and edit your existing tables, making it convenient to view and manage your data. In the My Teams section, you can view and manage the teams you have created or are a part of. Additionally, you have the option to create a new team by clicking on the Create Team button, enabling collaboration and sharing among team members. Any tables that have been shared with you by other users will be displayed in the Shared With Me section. This feature facilitates seamless collaboration and access to shared data. If you have specific tables that you frequently work with, you can mark them as favorites. These tables will appear in the Favorites section, allowing for quick and easy access to your preferred tables. The Archive section stores the tables that you have chosen to archive. Archiving tables helps you keep your workspace organized by removing them from the active view while still retaining them for future reference if needed. Deleted tables are stored in the Trash section. This acts as a temporary storage area, allowing you to recover tables that were accidentally deleted or permanently delete them from your account. On the top right side of the dashboard, you will find additional filtering options. You can filter your tables based on title, date, last update, unread status, total entries, and last entry. This filtering feature helps you quickly locate specific tables based on specific criteria. Furthermore, there is a search bar available, allowing you to perform a comprehensive search across all your tables within your account. This search functionality enhances efficiency and enables you to find the information you need promptly. Now, let's see how to create a table in Jotform. Creating a table in Jotform Tables is a straightforward process. To get started, navigate to the top of the left menu in the Jotform dashboard and locate the Create Table button. Clicking on this button will open up the options for creating a new table. Jotform offers three options for creating a table. Start from scratch, use template, and import data. If you choose the Start from Scratch option, you will begin with a blank table where you can input your data according to your preferences. This option is ideal when you want to build a table from scratch and customize it to suit your specific needs. The Use Template option allows you to choose a template from a selection of pre-built table templates. These templates are designed for various purposes and can provide a starting point for creating your table. You can select a template that closely matches your requirements and then modify it as needed. If you have existing data in a CSV or XLSX file on your computer, you can choose the Import Data option. This option enables you to upload the file and convert its contents into a Jotform table. This is particularly useful when you have data in another format and want to quickly transfer it into a Jotform table. For this tutorial, we will select the Start from Scratch option, since we want to build a template from scratch. Upon clicking on this option, it may take a moment to process, and then you will be redirected to a new blank table. From there, you can begin adding columns, entering data, and customizing the table to suit your specific requirements. 
When you create a new blank table in JotForm Tables, it serves as a canvas for organizing and inputting your data. The table consists of columns and rows, allowing you to structure and categorize your information effectively. To add a row, simply click on the plus add button located on the left side of the screen. This action will instantly create a new row in the table. Each column corresponds to a specific data field, and you can enter data into the respective fields according to their names or labels. For instance, if your table initially has three fields such as name, email, and notes, you can populate the name field with a value like Emma Smith. Enter the corresponding email address in the email field like emmasmith at email.com and input any relevant notes or tasks in the notes field. This process allows you to organize and store data in a structured manner within the table. To add additional columns, click on the plus add button located on the right side of the screen. This action will bring up a pop-up window where you can choose from options such as basic, formula, buttons, and connection. Select the desired option, click next, enter the name for the new column, and then click the create column button. The new column will be added to the table, expanding the range of data you can capture and organize. Once you have added data to the columns, you can easily view the information by hovering your mouse over a specific row and clicking on the View option. The information will be displayed on the right side of the screen, providing a clear overview of the data. Additionally, you can perform actions such as printing, downloading, or marking the information as a favorite. To add a new table in a different format, click on the plus Add Tab button located at the top left side of the screen. This action allows you to choose from various formats, including Table, Calendar, Cards, Uploads, and Reports. Select your preferred option and click Next. From there, you can opt to start from scratch, connect to a form, or import data, depending on your specific needs. After making your selection, enter the name for the new table and click the Create button. The new table will be added, and you can begin working on it. When you're ready to share your tables with others, click on the Share button located at the top right corner of the screen. A pop-up window will appear, providing you with different sharing options. You can copy the link to the table and share it with others, or directly invite someone to view the table by entering their email address. If you choose the Invitation option, enter the recipient's email and an invitation message, then click Send to Invitation. If you want to customize the share settings further, click on Share Settings, where you can adjust privacy options and the default role for the invitation link. This allows you to control access and permissions for the shared table. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using JotForm Table. You can sign up using the first link in the description. I appreciate that, thank you. We hope you found this video informative and gained a better understanding of the various features and functionalities that JotForm Table has to offer. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching.